class. Good day. This is your professor. And today our topic is all about the criminal law. Okay. So I will be discussing criminal law 1. Okay. Under the revised penal code of the Philippines. But before we begin, um, let me start our discussion by praying. So Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. Okay. So, um, before I start my discussion, I would like to state that um, the notes or reviewer I am using is from the UP um, notes, okay, a reviewer. The purpose of this discussion is just um, to show the overview of the criminal law one. I do not own this reviewer, okay, this reviewer is from UP. So, the ownership goes to UP, the intellectual property. Um, the, the only purpose I'm using this is for purely for discussion purposes only. Okay? So, without further ado, let us begin. Criminal Law 1. So, under Criminal Law 1, we will be discussing the fundamental principles of criminal law. Next, the felonies or the crimes committed under the revised penal code. Next, are the circumstances which affect criminal liability. Next, persons criminally liable or degree of participation in the commission of the crime. Next, are the corresponding penalties. And lastly, modification and extinction of criminal liability. Okay, so class, um, we will just make a rundown considering that the uh, criminal law is a very broad subject, okay, very broad topic and uh, we are only given a limited amount of time to cover all the topics of criminal law one, okay, so this is just an overview that's why I'm using this reviewer from um, UP, okay, for discussion purposes only, okay. I do not own anything from this uh, reviewer, okay. I'm only using this as a reference, okay. So, let's begin. Revised Penal Code, Special Laws and then Presidential Decrees and Executive Orders, okay. So, these are um, the basis that constitutes our criminal law. But in our jurisdiction, um, the revised penal code is one of the common basis for um, um, prosecuting a crime. Okay? So, book 1 under the revised penal code. So, it, it has... Um, 99 articles, okay, excluding provisions on civil liability and then including related uh, special laws, okay. Now, let's go to chapter 1, Fundamental Principles of Criminal Law. So, how is criminal law defined in our jurisdiction? Criminal law is that branch of public substantive law which defines crimes, treats of their nature, and provides for their punishment, okay? So, criminal law in our jurisdiction is a, gu is a guideline on how to prosecute a crime, okay? 
it defines the crime, its elements, and then um, its penalty, its corresponding penalty. So, what's the, under the um, doctrine in criminal law, there are what's, what we call mala in se and mala prohibita. Okay? So, what are the meaning of these um, terms? So, when you say mala in se, these are lat Latin terms class, which means wrong from its very nature. Okay? So, mala prohibita, wrong because it is prohibited by law. So, when you say mala in se class, it is wrong because of the very act itself. Okay? In the other hand, Mala prohibita, it is wrong because um, it was defined by law that it is wrong. Okay, there is a special law that defines the act as wrong. So, in the Philippine setting, uh, mala in se crimes are found in the revised penal code of the Philippines. While mala prohibita um, crimes um, can be found in violation of special laws. Okay in the Philippines. So, as to its defense, in mala inse, good faith is a valid defense unless the crime is the result of culpa. Okay? While in the other hand, good faith is not a defense in mala prohibita. So, in mala prohibita, the mere act, okay, um, consummates the crime. Okay? So, as to whether or not criminal intent is an element in mala in, in se, criminal intent is part of the element of the crime. While criminal intent in mala prohibita is immaterial because the act itself, once you violate, um, it already constitutes the crime. Um, for example, simple example, jaywalking, okay? So, the act itself of jaywalking, it constitutes the crime of mala prohibita because it is a special law. Okay? Well, in the other hand, uh, mala in se crimes, um, which is found in the revised penal code, there are elements involved before um, the crime can be said to be consummated. Okay? So, as to the degree of accomplishment, so, there are degrees of accomplishment in mala in se crime, okay? For example, um, frustrated, okay? Um, consummated, attempted. In the other hand, um, mala prohibita crimes, they, most often than not, they are always um, consummated, okay? Because the very act itself, um, consummates the crime in mala prohibita. Okay? So, the act gives rise to a crime only when you consummated it. Okay? Those are the crimes in mala prohibita. The act of violating the crime consummates the crime. So, as to mitigating and aggravating circumstances. So, they are taken into account in imposing the penalty, okay? With respect to mala and sick crimes, which can be found in the revised penal code. And then, they are not taken into account uh, with respect to the mala prohib prohibit prohibita crimes, okay? In um, special laws. As to degree of participation in mala and se, when there is more than one offender, the degree of participation of each in the commission is taken into account. Okay? So, there are levels of participation. Whether you are the accomplice, the accessory, or the principal of the crime. Okay? In the other hand, in mala prohibita, the degree of participation is generally not taken into account at all. Uh, for the reason that the mere act, okay, the mere doing of the act constitutes the crime. And then, stages of accomplishment. 
So penalty is computed on the basis of whether he is a principal offender or merely an accomplice or an accessory. Okay? So there are corresponding penalties as to the degree of participation. Unlike in mala prohibita cases, okay, or violation of special laws, and then like what I said earlier, generally the basis for mala insi crimes are found in the revised penal code. On the other hand, the basis for the crimes of mala prohibita are found in special 